gathered at a location near Bladesburg Road. Homeowners were concerned about the increase in growth in the Washington suburbs. That sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? They felt as though a strong alliance, through a strong alliance, they could prevent a stronger voice in protecting their county from a type and rate of growth that might not be beneficial. 81 years ago, people had that same concept. Some of the, the more things change, the more things stay the same. And you ask me why I'll never be a politician. Okay, since then, the Federation has expanded into a countywide umbrella organization made up of civic organizations representing their communities and civic minded individuals. Through land use, uh, the land use and the environment continue to be significant. Our issues have brought to include education, public ethics, transportation, taxation, other areas. Among our major accomplishments were creation of the county hospital system and the county, the county service building, a long battle for home room, the home rule charter, the right to vote on bonds, and the ethics bill. We, the Federation, assisted the referendum for the election of county council members by district and term limits. So that's a little bit about the Federation. Let's discuss what we're here about tonight, the Federation's Cup. Now, similar for the Federations were formed in other metropolitan areas. The former Evening Star newspaper, which probably nobody here remembers, sponsored an annual award to a citizen or group selected by each Federation for outstanding civic service to their community. And when the Evening Star closed, the Prince George's Journal, which probably no one remembers, sponsored our trophy. And for a while, it was called the Journal Cup. And for those who have won the cup, if you look on it, it is stenciled on there, the Journal Cup. Um, there's a story to go along with that. We won't get into it tonight. In recent years, the Federation discontinued outside sponsorship. We kind of saw things in a different perspective. Um, the trophy has a silver cup on a base. The awardee's name is added to a plaque attached to the base, and they retain it for possession for a year. The actual cup is then exchanged for a permanent commemorative bowl, and the trophy moves to the next recipient. So for everybody who hasn't seen it, this is the Federation Cup. And on this side, it says on the bowl, for outstanding public service to Prince George's County. And on the other side, the Journal Newspapers Trophy, awarded annually to Prince George's County Civic Federation. Ooh. One of the reasons that I was late was I was also shining this. <laughs> it seems like I left a little residue on it. Doesn't it look shiny? Okay, my eyebrows were good. It's Joe on the inside. <laughs> okay. And the other part of it is that this trophy goes around. This is, I think, the second or third trophy. Um, one, I think, I'm not sure where the second one was, but the first one was presented to the county. Actually, it was loaned to the county to put on display. It was never returned. So the county probably has it. But this area down here, these are the plaques with different names on it in the year. And that's very simple, just the name of the person and the year. The, the cup in and of itself says the rest of it. Okay, so we'll put this away. Nobody needs to see it anymore. <laughs> okay, now, how do we get to the point where we award it to somebody? Okay, well, we have bylaws, and it is covered in the bylaws. So let me cover some of that, uh, some of the information that are in the bylaws. Article 25, and we're supposed to be rewriting these bylaws to update them. Section 1, the Federation may make an annual award to a citizen of Prince George's County at the May meeting each year. We kind of slipped a little bit, right? <laughs> the Board of Directors may present its recommendations to the, uh, for the award at the April meeting each year. Member organizations may submit recommendations to the board members for consideration, but such recommendations shall not be binding in its decision. Any delegate or member shall have the right to nominate from the floor any citizen of Prince George's County not recommended by the Board of Directors. A two-thirds affirmative vote by the, of the delegates and the members present shall be required to grant the award. Okay, we've modified that at times. Um, and the modification, I think, works in the actual wording of it. We allow 
all financial members to vote on. And anybody can recommend anyone. If you're financial, if you're in good standing with the organization, you can recommend anyone you want. And we will take recommendations up until the time that we vote. Okay, section two. The purpose of the award is to give public recognition to a citizen who has rendered outstanding public service to Prince George County during the 12 months preceding the May meeting each year. In making the selection, consideration shall be given to the achievement on the following, being instrumental in the passage of beneficial new legislation or, or amendment of old legislation, and a general improvement of health, safety, public welfare of the citizens of the county. Faithful or diligent participation in the routine affairs of the Federation, mere holding of office, chairmanship, or membership on a committee, or the performance of any acts which were down solely to the benefit of the Federation, shall not be deemed sufficient to merit the award. A brief written citation setting forth the merits of each nominee shall be submitted with each recommendation. Okay, so no matter how hard I work, how many chairs I put out here, etc., I am not worthy. Because this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay? So, section three. Before the written citation of the board of directors shall be read to the membership, and any before any nomination be made from the floor, the provisions of section two shall, of this article shall be read to those present at the meeting every time the grant the award is to be voted for. So that's the wherefore way of line how we do that. 